I was raised in a very privileged household. My father was a very successful businessman and uh, my sister and I really, growing up we got pretty much whatever we asked for. We went on fun trips and um, got the newest and greatest of everything. Uh, my dad also battled uh, through addiction during those years. Um, when I was a junior in high school, this all totally changed. My father had an encounter with God and um, gave it all up to pursue ministry. I saw God as a taker, not a giver. Everybody spoke about how God gives good things and blesses you and all this stuff. And through my eyes, he took everything away from me. When I graduated high school, uh, I began to go down a road of destruction. Experimented with drugs, alcohol, and sex to try to fill a void that I felt was left in my heart by not getting everything that I wanted. This went on for several years, um, from 2001 to 2005. Um, I was always chasing the next high, looking for the next party, trying to find another girl, uh, to fill this void in my heart that I created myself. In 2001, um, my life changed again. I tragically lost a really good friend of mine in a motorcycle accident. After that, um, I felt guilt, uh, blame, condemnation in my heart. Um, it was my fault. It was all my fault that this happened to my good friend. Um, so I spiraled even more out of control, chasing after the next high as fast as I could, trying to find the next party as quick as I could. I couldn't do enough drugs, I couldn't drink enough alcohol. This went on for four years in 2005. Another tragedy struck close to me. Another really good friend of mine lost his stepfather um, to a massive heart attack. It hurt the family deeply. I was hurting for them, um, didn't know what to do. Um, so I called my dad, who was a pastor, and he came over and um, did what pastors do. He mourned with the family, prayed with the family. And that night he shared the gospel in a way that I'd never heard it before or that my ears and heart weren't ready to hear yet. And that's when I made a decision to uh, follow Christ. Through that process, it was, it's, it was a process of growing pains for me. So over the next six months, I spent really asking God to show himself to me and to uh, show me the right way, because I knew what I was doing was wrong, but I just didn't know how to stop it. Um, and He was graceful enough to show me the way, graceful enough to love me through it, graceful enough to be there for me the whole time. In 2006, I uh, met my beautiful bride, Becca. A year later, we were married, and we now have three beautiful children, Hudson, Elijah, and Ivy Page. And so for me, as I'm looking back on my story and how far God has brought me, I see a God that has a lot of grace, a God that has a lot of love, and a God that has a ton of compassion. Because He doesn't change, that same love, that same grace, and that same compassion is still being poured out to you. That is what gives me.